Hey guys, it's Ross, and we're in the greenhouse right now. Um, I have a couple things in the greenhouse. Just to get some, like, last few fruits here off my Black Madeira. This is the UC Davis version. And I also have in here some real tender plants, uh, tender figs that uh, I don't want to let them get hit with the frost. So that's what we're going to talk about today is an extra step in the winterization process at least for me in my area you know we haven't gotten that first frost yet of the season but we will soon and in preparation for that i decided to take the tender the trees with more tender growth that are a bit younger started growing later in the season um, and didn't stop these trees i've decided to move them somewhere to keep them away from that frost because the growth is just too green it's very it's very pliable as well it's not lignified in any form as of yet uh, and this growth if it were to get hit with a frost for sure it would die and rather than losing all that growth that energy that i these trees put into this growth you know, I decided to move them into a different location. So this is one solution. Another solution would be to take this green growth here, or if it's somewhat lignified, you know, depending on how lignified it is, it could you could have more success or less success. But, um, you know, I would say a semi-lignified branch is just fine to root, you know, but it's if it's really green like this, you can really easily bend this. It's not hard in any sense. That growth, you can also root it, but it's not gonna last very long. You have to really cut this now and root it instantly. You can't wait, you can't delay. You gotta wrap that thing with parafilm and you gotta get this green growth on the way to the rooting process if you would like to, to salvage that. So if you don't have an area like this that I do to pr protect them from frost, that's one solution is just cutting off these this growth that's going to die anyway and just seeing if you can make something out of it if not oh well it's not the end of the world these trees are very resilient they will come back um you know and i have them in this greenhouse which is not being heated right now even though it is it has been heated in the past we're not heating it right now because we want to let the temperatures still kind of drop below 32 and and get the lignification process going quicker um really stop the growth on these more tender plants that just for whatever reason keep growing i've already pinched off the tips to prevent them from growing any further but uh that, those lower temperatures certainly will help speed this process up and by the time we are below 32 on our way to 20 degrees fahrenheit which is the absolute minimum for these potted plants. Uh, we will turn the greenhouse on and the heater on in the greenhouse and these, these limbs will be lignified in time. Um, I have a, a strong feeling. So, you know, all is not lost with this growth and this is just, you know, an, an easy solution that I wanted to show you guys. So thank you for watching this one. Um, we're, there, will be, there will be more on the subject of winterization. This is only part two of what to do um, to protect your trees in the wintertime, guys. All right? Take care.